guys welcome back i'm going to try for a little cloud pour today using the deco art satin enamels uh, but before i do that i'll show you this one that i did a little while ago it's all dry now uh, that was with global paints uh, well the global white anyway i can't remember what the gold was it might have been the sergeants can't remember now um just black white and gold and the white really reacted to create these cloudy sort of effects that was a wandering ring pour or well, actually no it wasn't it was a waterfall pour which is similar to a wandering pour so that's it there Let's see if i can pick up that shininess it's really pretty i'll give this a coat of gloss at some stage you can see it shimmering away there so you've got some really interesting effects all nice and dry now so that's that one uh, but today yes playing around with the deco art again still need to get my measurements right for my up and coming um, cloud workshop so what i've got to do today is a split cup so i've just got this little bit of plastic that i've cut to fit into that cup there and i'm going to just layer the colors on each side and do a ring pour and hopefully get some cloudy effects so I'm just using Floetrol as my pouring medium so my black is the artist loft black just because I've got heaps of this if you don't have that just use whatever colors you're using like same brand so equal parts Floetrol to paint the white I've done equal parts Floetrol to paint and then because the white's a bit thinner I've added a quarter actually no a half I think it was about half or a third uh, to the white paint so a little bit of the deco art satin enamels the liquitex basics i've just mixed two parts paint to one sorry two parts flow troll to one part paint that's the ultramarine blue and ducks is in purple naphthol crimson hue uh, this one here that i've finished is unbleached titanium and for my metallic, I've, I have got gold left, but I want to save it for my class. So I'm mixing half bronze and half pearl, and that's one part paint to one part float roll. And I got this sort of a, a goldish color, which is quite pretty. So that's that one. Um, actually, I should make sure I've got it all out. To get these out, like if I'm, I'm only using half, at a time so i'll pour out 25 grams and then i'll pour into my cup 25 grams of flow troll and then i know i've got 25 grams of this left so i just have to then add 25 grams of flow troll into the bottle give it a good shake and then pour it out and then i know i've got the right amount because there's not much paint in there really it's only a little bit okay right oh let's do this so when I did my pearl pour, I added a little bit of water to all my colours, but I'm not doing that today. So some white in the bottom. I don't want a lot of white. You know how you get that big blob of white in the bottom? Um, like this one. If you have too much white in the bottom of your cup, the white comes out last. You end up having that big white sluggy thing in the middle. So I'm trying to avoid that by putting half white, half gold in the bottom. And then I'm just going to layer. Uh, try and work out equal sort of amounts. This one hasn't got any white in it yet, has it? I've got to kind of remember what's got what in it. It's a bit tricky to do. Some black. And you can have some purple. And you can have some blue. And I'll go with some more white. And some more gold. And 
When did I put white in last? I can't remember. Some more white. <laughs> Whoops. Some more purple. Finish that off. It's basically just going to fill up a cup. Not right to the top because then it's too hard to pour. A little bit from the top. And some more of that cream. Mm. Finish off my red. Yeah, it's really hard to remember what you've put in each layer. I think that's enough of the gold. Some black there. Some blue there. Finish that off. And then, because we want clouds, I'm just going to finish it off with some white. Like so. The black, I may thin that out with a little bit of water. I've got a little bit of gold left here. I kind of feel as if I want to finish off all my... I'm going to call it gold. It looks like gold, even though it's bronze and pearl mixed together. I'm going to call it my gold. It does look like gold, doesn't it? Hmm. All right, so that's gone. Oops, dropping my sticks everywhere. Okay. Now I've poured in from there, so I'm going to pour out that way. Get my little bit of plastic out. that looking that looks pretty doesn't it oops yes I'm dripping everywhere I lay it over here oh. no don't bark you always have to bark in the middle of my videos don't you please don't okay here we go ring pour I did one earlier today it was a big one Scraped it. It's very depressing. <laughs> I was really grumpy at myself because I'd wasted so much paint. Yeah, okay, here we go. That's better. Now I can get my proper little circles happening. Again, a lot of paint. Probably didn't need all of this. I always seem to make up way too much paint when I'm doing these little canvases. I'm not even going to mix up that uh, black. I think I'll have plenty to go over my edges with. I'll give this a bit of a torch. Oi, what are you doing? Settle down. You're getting a bit excited, aren't you? bubbles come on turn off doesn't want to turn off okay let's have a look see what we've got um you know what i think i will put some black on the edges just because i can i've got it there i'm going to thin it out a little bit so give it a squirt of water just tap water that's all i use Some interesting things happening here with the black and the gold. Okay, that can go there. I'll just spread this around a little bit. So my daughter and I went to see Crawl last night. It was really scary. <laughs> the amount of times I jumped. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's about this movie where there's a there's a hurricane and um, it's because the area is flooded and all the houses are flooded. These 
alligators have come into people's houses where they're trapped. So of course you can imagine being caught in your house or under your house in the basement with alligators injured. <laughs> oh, it was really, really good. I enjoyed it. That was just a little birthday weekend for myself and my daughter because it's my birthday tomorrow. So I get to stay home and pour tomorrow. But yeah, Krista just came up for the weekend and took me out for dinner and a movie, just the two of us, because she has to go back today, back home. So she won't be here for my birthday as such. So yeah, we did a little birthday celebration yesterday with her, which was lovely. Way, way, way too much paint. Slowly tipping it over the edges, opening up those rings. Not much is happening just yet with my effects. I was hoping I would be getting some more effects by now from the satin enamel and the metallic but not just yet hopefully still will happen sometimes you just have to wait and stretch out your paints before it'll happen let's pop it there and give it another torch see if anything wants to happen to wait a bit longer I don't really know what I was expecting and I'm not in love with these colors they're sort of just colors I had leftovers I don't know I, I just, just assumed that I would get more effects with the the satin enamel move it around a little bit see if I need to actually get more paint off the surface or not Stretch everything out a little bit more. That might help. I don't want to stretch too much though, because then I'll lose all my patterns. And you lose all those patterns that you've created around the outside if you overstretch them all. The other way. Go off to that last corner there. So I'm losing all my paint. Way too much paint I had mixed up again. Tip all the good stuff off, hey. <clears throat> I don't know, just not liking it. I'm having trouble with my clouds, I must say, with getting my consistency right. Excuse me. Got a torch. It may just be my colours that I'm using. I must say, I need a bit of 
black on the corner. The one that I did before this that I scraped, I added water and I thought, oh, it's too thin, you know, I lost the ring shape. Just struggling today with um, the clouds, like that's not cloudy at all. You wouldn't even know that that had the satin enamel in it. So yeah, not sure what's happening. I have to have a little play around on some card, I think, with my consistencies. See what's happening. I'll just bring this down a little bit more. Actually, I'll turn it around so that you can see. Right, that way I tilt towards you. Maybe it's a bit thick this time around. Do much prefer the pearls, I must say, to the satin enamels. There we go, that's kind of centered it a little bit more. Kind of wanted that red down the middle, rather. Okay, well, interesting. I don't love it. Don't have my clouds, don't have my pearls. Nothing's really worked on this one. Um, I think my consistency is just too thick for this one. Hmm. Because so I haven't got any little pearls coming up around the outside or anything like that. It's very strange. Hmm. Must just be too thick. Well, I'm going to leave it anyway for a little while and uh, see if anything happens. I'll give it a last little torch. Don't get too close with your torch either. You can burn this paint very easily when it's thick like this. All right, I'll leave it like that and see what happens. I don't think anything's going to happen. I'll just leave it like that. So there you go. Not happy with it again. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Back to the drawing board, I think. Um, yeah, I, I don't mind the top half. It's got some really pretty swirls and things in it, but the bottom half with the purple and the sort of the greyish look, yeah, I'm not, not loving that at all. Anyway, I will keep going. I will get there in the end. All right, thanks for watching. Bye for now.